Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, Trust in him, always. Hey, your majesty! What's up? Please, come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah, count on it! So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. The city somewhere, but no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. So you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. You should know. We have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? 
Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Wescombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the King concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. I don't suppose you'd cry over the Empire's losses? An intriguing suggestion. Seems to me you want a proxy to fight the Empire. Very sharp, Your Majesty. But before we go into that, there is one matter I'd like to settle. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. That's fine, but what about damage to the city? Your concern is appreciated. But I am prepared to accept some structural damage. Keeping the citizens safe is my chief concern, and therefore yours. And that is not all. Once the rite has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Oh, 
All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. <laughs>